guys, so today I am talking about how to pack if you're going on some awesome trip. And I love packing, so if you are packing right now and you're freaking out and you're like, I don't want to pack, I don't know what to pack, then call me up and I will like come to your house and pack for you because I love packing. It's like organizing awesomeness. Okay, so the person who requested this video is Claudia Cheer Freak. And her name is right here, and you guys can go to her channel. I'm gonna put a link at the end, and I want you all to go and um, friend her and write her on her wall because she's a really sweet girl and she's really awesome. So you guys should go talk to her. Um, she's going on a 4-H trip, and she told me like where her city is and stuff. Like we don't even know where you live. Um, she can only bring two small suitcases, and it is a two-night trip. So they're staying for two nights. So my experience with packing is basically that I've gone to summer camp since I was like eight. So I'm always going to events where I have to pack and I have to stay overnight. And luckily, um, Claudia Cheer Freak is staying in a hotel, so she's super lucky. But I'm going to talk about both things, like what you'll need for a hotel, what you'll need for camp. Um, so I'll cover everything. I have this bag, and this is what I define as a small bag because this is small to me. So I'm gonna start off with clothes because I feel like that's kind of essential. So you're gonna need um, obviously like underwear for the amount of days you're there. And I don't know how like you guys do bras. I think I, I don't know. I think I wear like change it every single day. I don't think you're supposed to, but I do. So bring however many like underwear and bras and socks for the amount of days you're there. And if you're going to like a like summer camp or something, then bring like a lot, a lot of socks because I would bring like, like if you're going to some Christian camp that you're going to be doing activities, I would bring like two pairs of, so of socks per day. And I always, this is like true for like um, in TV production class, in journalism, everywhere. It's always better to bring more than to bring less. And like in TV, it's always better to film more B-roll than film less. <laughs> so um, then the next thing that, oh she said she has a pool at her hotel. Probably you're gonna have a pool at your camp unless it's like winter camp. So bring a bathing suit. And um, by the way, if you're going to some Christian camp, they have dress code rules and they don't allow you to wear bikinis. So you're gonna need, either need to invest in a tankini. I know right, a tankini, isn't it adorable? Oh my, look guys, it's zebra print. Splatter paint, zebra print is amazing. I've had like a zebra print reference in like the past 10 videos. <laughs> anyway, so bring a bathing suit and if you have a bikini or whatever and you're not allowed to wear it, just bring a tank top to go over it. That, so like a, a tank top that you don't mind getting chlorine on. Speaking of the pool, if you are going swimming, I would bring like cover up stuff. So bring like a pair of Sophie's or again, like a tank top or some like cute cover up and go over it. So that when you're going like to and from pool that you're cool. So if you are staying in a hotel, they provide towels. But if you're staying at camp, they don't. So if you're going to camp, I would bring a pool towel and a bath towel. And then if you have enough room, another towel for the loser who forgets their towel. That always happens. You need flip flops for swimming. Or if you're just like hanging out in your hotel room or in your cabin, so you just need flip flops. And at camp, the cabins are so gross. So there's like dirt everywhere. And you might even want to go around in socks or something. It's just like, oh, grossness. So then, speaking of shoes, you need some shoes. And I recommend bringing a pair of like sneakers, like shoes to walk around in, or if you want to like work out wherever you are. Like if you're doing something active at your camp, then maybe, but Claudia Cheerfee is just going to this hotel thing. So if you know that you're not gonna like have this random urge to go running in the morning, then you don't need sneakers. But otherwise, I really recommend bringing some kind of type of um, running shoes, athletic shoes. The next thing that, blah, the next type of shoes that you want, you want to pack as, um, few as possible like I have filled up this entire bag of shoes before going to an event because shoes take up so much space so don't bring like um, pattern shoes that only go with one outfit bring like two pairs of shoes like I would bring flip flops and then um, sneakers and then two cute shoes and that's it for shoes because you don't want to fill up your whole suitcase with shoes and so for sleeping in I would bring make sure to bring sweatpants and a hoodie because you don't know it might be cold where you're going, so it's better to be safe than sorry. And I know in my cabin, it always turns out being like freezing to death. But if you're in a hotel, you can like adjust the things, but I would still bring like a hoodie just in case 
the AC in the rest of the hotel where you're having your convention or whatever is freezing. So make sure to like bring that because I'm out. I'm always the one who's freezing because like look at this. Oh my God. So for clothing wise, it really depends on what you are doing. But again, if you're going to some sort of camp where you're going to be working out two or three outfits a day, like I'm not even kidding. Because we would have our like morning outfit and then we would change into another outfit after lunch and then we change into like a cute dinner outfit so we would literally have like three outfits a day. Also make sure that you're not having like a dress up day because we always have it on my camp and if you're like new to it you might not know. So there's a dress up theme you're going to want to bring like really cute clothing to your kids for that. But if you're just going to some sort of convention then you kind of have a um, choice on what to wear. I would just wear jeans like <laughs> These are just like normal, whoa, normal skinny jeans from Forever 21. They were like seven dollars. So I would just bring like skinny jeans and then some cute tops. And again, remember there might be some stupid dress code. So like a shirt like this might be out of dress code. So bring a um, a sweater, like the sweater or sweatshirt that you bring. Maybe you should bring one that like you could put over every single shirt in case like stupid dress code rules. So make sure to like find that out when you're planning what outfits to bring. But I would bring like um, two outfits a day because you don't know like how you're gonna be like dressing up. Like you might want to like dress up for dinner. So if you're like super casual, I would bring like shorts and a t-shirt and then maybe some cute stuff to dress up in case you do for dinner. Okay, so toiletries, what do you bring? Well, luckily if you go to a hotel, they already provide soap, shampoo, conditioner, and washcloths and towels and that's about it but if you're a girl and have hair then that shampoo is not going to suffice at all I've had where are you? Oh, I've had like the worst experience at hotels where you get like a little bottle and like no it doesn't work so I would just bring your own shampoo and oh, this is my little blonde glam shampoo from Canteen I really recommend this one over John Frieda, whatever, because I heard that one. I was watching um, this British beauty guru, I forget what her name is. Anyways, she got like this burn mark on her back from it, so don't get that kind, get this kind. If you want to bring like shampoo and conditioner, I wouldn't bring them in these bottles. I would get, um, if you go to the dollar store or Dollar General, whichever one, or Deals, that's the new dollar store where I live, it's so awesome. Anyways, they, they have these little like travel container sets and they have containers about like that big, like three times as big as the little hotel ones and you can like, they're empty so you can fill them with your shampoo or conditioner and so then you can bring your shampoo and body wash and conditioner and shower gel and whatever to wherever you're going. The other thing that you need is shaving cream. If you're a girl, like you can use soap to shave with if you don't want to, um, bring shaving cream or you can get your little Olivology thing from Olivology.com. Anyways, Olivology sells olive oil which is way better to shave with than shaving cream because it doesn't dry out your skin and have gross chemicals. Anyways, link below in the description bar explaining why Olivology is way better than any shaving cream. And actually right now they have free samples on their website so if you go get a free sample that might be enough. Um, Olivology stuff to get you through the two days or however long you're going to be there. Claudia, so if you go to olivology.com, you're not going till May to this trip. They have free samples of olivology stuff that you can shave with. Okay, cool. Um, also, bring your razor. I don't really know anyone who would have a problem with someone bringing a razor. Like, it might be like considered a weapon by some people, but I don't know. Um, I have a guy like razor. It's like in the bathroom right now, so I don't want to run and get it, but. Just bring your normal razor. I used to, like at camp, I used to be like, I don't want to shave, that's awkward. But you could just like shave in the shower and it's normal, it's not like weird. And if you're a guy, I don't know how guys shave. I mean like, just bring whatever you, I don't know, I don't know. Deodorant wise, I would just bring a normal deodorant. Um, again, if you're, if you're like, if you are um, needing to conserve space, what I really recommend is you, if you go to Walmart, at least in my Walmart and another one I was at, they have these aisles and 
they have like mini travel size everything and they have everything from like a mini first aid kit to like mini shaving cream to mini body wash to mini Vaseline like it's amazing 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 so go to Walmart and like just look at that and you'll see like all this stuff you need and be like oh my gosh I want that and that and that and they have like mini hairspray mini like bobby pins it's like amazing um but this is just like I'm always the person who overpacks and like saves everyone because they forgot everything so I bring like a spray deodorant because someone's gonna forget their deodorant but if you're not that person who saves the rest of the group, then just bring a normal deodorant. Toothbrush wise, I have an electric toothbrush, which I really recommend because it brushes your teeth better. And to make sure that you have a cover for it. And also this thing actually has a case, so either, but you don't really need it. So just make sure your toothbrush has a cover, whichever toothbrush you have. Again, go to Dollar Tree, Walmart, and get toothbrush covers, like a little for the head part of it. And then if you have an electric one, make sure it's charged before you go ring, face wash, and if you're at a hotel, they're going to have um, a bunch of towels, so I wouldn't, have to, I wouldn't worry about that, but if you're at a camp, then you're not going to have a bunch of towels, so I would bring a, like a hand, a hand towel to wash your face with. Um, if you have contacts, bring mini contact solutions, whatever you get a new um, set of contacts, like the contact eye doctor place, they always give me a mini one of these and an extra little one of these thingies so make sure to bring that and extra oh I always bring extra contacts because I know that like one day my contacts gonna fall out and I'm gonna be blind so I always bring like two extra contacts one for the right one for the left I also think that any girl I don't know about guys I don't know what guys do but um to bring Vaseline and again they have this in like at Walmart in like the mini travel stuff section so bring a mini Vaseline and like every single night I brush my lips and put Vaseline on it. I'm going to make a video about brushing my lips later because you guys are probably super confused. Okay, so makeup. I think that all your makeup should be able to fit into a little makeup bag and just kind of bring the essentials like foundation, concealer, powder. <laughs> just bring everything. With the eyeshadow bring like a little eye palette or just don't wear eyeshadow this is from Avon I don't really recommend it though because the colors are like super light I don't like it like I'm not even that tan so I don't get it I feel like if it's not good for my skin tone then it's not good for anyone but this is like their 12 something something yeah I don't I don't like this I don't recommend this but I use it because it's it's okay you could just bring something like that or you could just bring like one neutral palette and just put like that and then bring like a highlight color and like a crease color so whatever you want with eyeshadow and then I would bring an eyeliner and a mascara and I think that you could just bring all your normal brushes this is actually a really cool makeup bag I got this from like a friend I think this is Lancome I don't know how to pronounce it. Anyways, but this is like a really nice makeup bag because they have like little brush holders. So I have room for like a powder brush, a blush brush, and a eyeshadow brush. So that's what I use. And then this thing has like huge stuff on my makeup in here. So don't go crazy on brushes. Like I would just bring like one eyeshadow brush and then you can use that for all your makeup. You don't need like a bunch of brushes. But they do sell at Walmart, my favorite place, my go-to place for shopping. They sell like mini brush sets. So whatever you need for makeup, make it simple. Don't bring like crazy stuff. Remember, you're just going on a short little trip or camp. Like you don't need to go wild. And then um, since we're dealing with like beauty stuff, with for your hair, I would bring your straightener. This is a really nice straightener. It's called Wet to Straight, and I got it at Walmart. No, I actually got it at Kmart. But this thing is really cool because it's like instead of using a blow dryer, you can. Um, Strain your hair wet and this works fine so. Straightener, they usually have blow dryers at um, your hotel. They're really bad for your hair so bring a hair protectant if you want. And again, put it in like the little dollar at dollar some dollar store. Get the little like travel empty bottle and you can put some of your hair protectant in that. So stuff like that. With perfume, I don't know if you know but Andrea's Choice, J Lo's Mac 1 and one other beauty guru is doing this um, thing. It's called like... I'll put um, right here what it is called. It's called a like, travel co or something, and like you can put your perfume in there, and I think it's like completely awesome. And you can actually go in and win a free one at someone's 
on their beauty channel so actually so go check that out but that's for like perfume um because I don't I hate it because this is what always happens to me I bring my body spray and my perfume and then it either gets lost or like leaks in the bag and it's so annoying because then like you lost all your perfume and sometimes it can be really expensive so my mom got me this like Sephora sampler thing and it came with like a little perfume thingy so you could bring like a mini perfume if you want to. I think that'd be a great alternative. Yes. Also make sure to bring um, body lotion. Like if you just got a piercing, make sure to bring like ear care stuff. Oh, bring hand sanitizer because you do not know what bathroom you're gonna walk into. Makeup remover, don't forget that. I really recommend buying these wisp things. They're like toothbrushes and you open it up like this. If you've seen my Invisalign video, then you've already seen these. And you just open it up and and I really like these because they don't even require water and so you're probably not going to be able to go back to your cabin or your hotel room all the time so it's really nice to have these. And we were at deals buying makeup for one dollar and I got like this whole thingy for five dollars and this has like 32 eight packs times four brushes so 32 brushes for five dollars which is an amazing deal. So don't go waste your money at Walmart. Go to Deals or Dollar Store and get these things to brush your teeth with. Bring a purse or a tote bag to walk around with you because you, you, you're gonna have to carry around a lot of stuff and it's just easier if you have a bag. Um, inside your bag, you can have a um, umbrella because it's going to rain. Have sunglasses. Basically, just bring whatever is in your purse. Um, also, make sure you have your iPod with your headphones. I don't know if I, I don't know where my headphones are. And bring your phone. And make sure do not forget chargers. Do not forget chargers. You're going to like kill yourself if you forget your chargers. You're going to be like, no. So do not forget. Bring a pencil case. This is just the one I use for school. It's like a makeup bag. I just put pencils and stuff in it. So bring that. So that when you're taking notes or whatever, then you'll have that. And also bring like a little notebook because you don't know like what you're. I don't know if you're going to like seminars or whatever at this point you're staying, but you're gonna want pencils and stuff. I will. I always bring my Bible like wherever I go because I have Bible studies. But if you're not a Christian, bring a book to read on the way because if your iPod is like. Okay, so also in your purse, if you're a girl, have a little um, makeup bag and put like tampons and pads and stuff in it to, um, just in case, even if you're not in your period or you haven't started your period, like you always should carry something like this around just in case. And if you're going to like a week of camp, then like stuff it with um, pads and tampons and stuff too. You never know what will happen and like maybe your friend, your friend will get her period and she won't know what to do or like, it's super useful. The other thing that you will want in your bag is your wallet. Make sure to have some identification from either like your permit or your license or your um, student ID because sometimes you got like you can use that to get like a free um, discount in some for something. You like, you never know what you're gonna do. So make sure to have like identification. And then if you have any gift cards or coupons, my dad I never say coupons, I always say coupons. My dad always collects coupons and like right now I have like these Dunkin' Donut ones and we have a Dunkin' Donuts by my school so one day I can get like a free like 99 cent muffin. Whoa! <laughs> a free like 99 cent muffin one time I'm gonna get that deal. So make sure to like um, before going on the trip cut out a bunch of coupons like to random stores like to like Five Guys or like Kentucky Fried Chicken. Like, you don't know where you're gonna go for fast food. If you have a coupon then you can save money which is pretty much awesome. Also make sure to have money. Ooh, where do, how do I have $20? Make sure to, if you haven't paid for the trip, to have like your check for the trip or whatever. But I would always bring more money than you needed and with, if your parents are like, I'm not giving you $50 for two days, that's stupid. Be like, I'll collect all the receipts and then give you the change from it. So get more money than you need because you're going to be really surprised by how expensive stuff is in hotels or whichever city you're traveling to in your expenditure. Going back to the girl stuff, I don't know if I said, you should bring a hairbrush and a comb. And with jewelry, do not go crazy with jewelry. I know like, if you want to like look all cute and everything every day, but I would just like put it in like little studs 
I always wear pearl studs. I wear these like every single day in my life since like this year. So if you want to like have earrings that you just like keep in or maybe you wear like hoops every day, then like bring those, but don't bring like a bunch of jewelry and stuff because that's just like unnecessary bulge in your baggage. So like maybe one day you want to wear like a cute necklace with this one shirt because you always wear it with it, then bring that, but don't like bring a bunch of stuff because then it could get stolen, lost, broken, like there's all this stuff that could happen to it. So be careful with that. I also really recommend if you're a girl to bring a little mirror with you. This is the one that I have, it kind of like stands up. It's actually really cute on this side, look. It's like a little flower. So bring like a little mirror because if you're in like a tight cabin with a bunch of girls, you don't know like what little mirror space you're gonna have. And so if you have this, then you can have your own mirror to put on your makeup and contacts. And it makes everything way easier. Dealing with the food, bring your own food. Like these are amazing, but make sure to get salted. The unsalted ones are not that good. But bring like some type of What's really good? Macadamia. So they're like so expensive, but they're so good. Or pistachios is the best. So bring some type of snack for the road or for your cabin. Even if there's a no food rule, like no one follows that. So bring food anyways. Bring like little like granola bars or um, veggie sticks. Those are the best. Or chips. Like something, cookies, whatever you want to bring for your cabin. Everyone will love you if you're the one with food. Also bring a water bottle. Like one of those, um, I don't have one with me but one of those like stainless steel water bottles or just like a plastic water bottle and make sure to recycle it so that you can always stay hydrated because you don't know like where you're going to be and how long you're going to be without food and water and stuff so a water bottle is just like looking ahead and being smart. If you know someone else who's been to camp or been to this 4-H event before then talk to them be like what did you need to bring because they, they you might have some random like dance day at the end that you don't know about. So again, if you talk to them, then they'll know better than me what you're gonna specifically need for your trip. Okay, so the question she was talking, you're talking about like you're gonna be like swimming in the pool with the guys that you like and stuff. I recommend um, waterproof mascara. This is CoverGirl's orange. It's just like the orange one. That'll be enough to recognize it at the store. This stuff, it is not coming off. Like, it's amazing. But then also make sure you have waterproof um, makeup remover to get it off, but yeah. And then with the swimming, like wear whatever bathing suit you feel awesome in, and then you'll look awesome and be awesome. <laughs> um, so with guys, remember to be yourself and to not freak out. Um, I know that like whenever I'm like I'm about to go go somewhere or do something, I always like look into the mirror and smile, and I think like you're pretty, and then that gives me like the confidence to go do whatever I want to do. So I hope that that was enough information to help you get to wherever you're going. Also, if you have an iTouch or an iPhone, there are like a bunch of free traveling apps. So just Google like what to pack or traveling app, and then you can make like a list on there to make it like easier so you won't forget anything. Oh, also bring a camera to take pictures and vlog while you're there because then I'll upload it to YouTube and show me your trips, guys. Leave it as a video response below. I'll really watch them if you like leave your trips. <laughs> Anyways, um, I have to go make dinner for my family tonight. <laughs> Bye!